This is huge, directly from the White House, releases first ever comprehensive framework for the development of regulating digital assets. Um, so we go down here, digital assets have grown and they basically are requiring some type of regulation. Um, just talks about President Biden here and things of reports that have been submitted to him. Uh, it also continues to talk about CBDCs here and everything about those. Now, one thing here, the reports encourage regulators like the Secure SEC and CFTC aggressively pursue investigations and enforcement actions against unlawful practices in the digital asset space, basically giving them the green light to go full on against any of these suspect things going on in the crypto space right now. Uh, it also continues to go on with a few other things, everything too, that to lead the public awareness efforts to help consumers understand the risks involved with digital assets as well. Now, another thing here, when you go down this paper a little bit more, agencies will be encouraged the adoption of instant payment systems like FedNow. So they're also going to be pushing FedNow um, throughout all this and obviously CBDCs and everything like that, which it's not really something that I am a fan of. Um, but another thing too to keep in mind is it says agencies will prioritize efforts to improve the efficiency of cross-border payments by working to align global payment practices, regulations, and supervision protocols while exploring new multilateral platforms that integrate instant payment systems. This is where ISO 2022 may come into play. Um, some people are saying XRP Ripple. I don't agree with that. I think HBAR is way better than XRP. There's a lot more uh, better options than XRP, even like Algorand, for example. Um, so this is actually good and bad. I have mixed feelings about all this here, but we're gonna have to see how it plays out. Um, again, they're also gonna be going after proof of stake cryptos too.